Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Bulls Got Gaming. It's your boy Sunny, and we are back with another episode of that Liverpool career mode. As you guys know, we left off with the contract offer accepted from my man Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Now, a lot of you guys wanted Aubameyang at the club, and I did see all of those comments. A lot of people said, "No, go for someone else." But what I'm gonna do is what you guys asked for. You know what it is, and that is sign the beast. The one, the only, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. We've got off to a great start. Our first signing, Aubameyang. Let's go. Now, this is what I'm thinking for my second signing, yo. We don't need Lacazette now because obviously that transfer offer, they were asking way too much. Martins, we don't really need Martins because we've got a 10 million accepted for Pulisic. And this guy came up a lot and I'm not surprised because he did move to Liverpool literally straight after I started the bloody episode. And I was like, really? I could have transferred him without having to pay the money. But Mohamed Salah has moved from Roma to Liverpool. Now we're gonna put an offer in there. They paid like 35 to 38 million around that price, but I don't think it's worth that much in FIFA. So I'm gonna go out there with 18 million. See what happens if we have to pay more then we have to pay more or we can even put up a player as a part exchange as well but before we get into any more transfers let's go ahead and smash out that like button let's shoot for 250 likes in this episode we smashed out 200 in the last one let's shoot for 250 let's get it popping and if you don't know then get to know hit me up on the social media we got snapchat instagram and twitter all over that at bros got game you know what to search it's me all right i'm here and you guys can talk to me as well i'm all over Open for you. All right, let's not get into that situation, but I'll reply. Also, just to let you guys know, brand spanking career mode series was released on Saturday, so go back and check that out. I'll leave it as an eye for you guys as well. Mate, the series is mad, mad. Check it out. Moving back into the transfers, as you guys have probably realised throughout the two games that we've had at the moment, we need a brand spanking new centre-back. Now, I think Clement's fine. I think we should get rid of Lovren and bring in a brand new centre-back. So, let's have a look at a few that came up in the comment section down below. You guys make the decisions around here. I'm a puppet. What am I doing now? I know this guy was linked recently with Liverpool and the, the talks broke down. It's as simple as that. They did break down. I'm not sure if I want to bring him to the club, even though I did want to try this guy out. I'm not going to lie. I wanted to try him out in the main United career mode, the Chelsea career mode, just nobody wanted him at the club. Now I want to bring him to Liverpool. If it doesn't happen, then it doesn't happen. I have got backups to this guy. I'm going to go in there with £24 million and see if we can sign him. Now this guy came up a lot. Kalidou Kulabali from Napoli. Now this guy's got the same overall. He's the same age as Van Dijk. He just seems like he's probably the better option for me when it comes to looking at players away from the Premier League. £24 million as well and we'll sign him. And another centre back who could replace them if they don't want to sign a contract. He's a little bit higher in rating, same age, so he's going to be worth more. I'm going to go straight in there with a whopping 27 million for Manolas. And there always has to be a plan D. I would have said a plan B, but this is our fourth option for a centre back now. And Jonathan Tarr is that guy. At the moment, we have to scout him further. I'm not, I'm not against that. I don't mind scouting players further, but we have to put in an offer and I'm going to go straight in there with 12 million just to test the waters. In the last episode, we did talk about selling Origi and selling Coutinho a lot of you guys want him to stay at the club but I feel like Coutinho realistically would move to Barcelona if he got the chance a lot of people said only if you get like 80 90 million I'm gonna go higher all right if we get 100 million for Coutinho that's the only way we're letting him go that's fair right because a lot of you guys are saying Hamas Rodriguez is the replacement I'm not quite sure what to think about that I was thinking Gilfie Sigurdsson but if you guys want Hamas we can look at Hamas and because we've got so much going wrong in that center back position I do want to buy a backup who could probably get a better as time goes on so I'm going after the kid from Nice Malang Saw. hopefully he hasn't signed no he hasn't signed recently so we can go after him hopefully get him for a good deal as well just to like like progress as time goes on and he can replace our big centre back you know what I mean we need someone like that that's why Liverpool have gone wrong they had no one to replace the likes of Sammy Hippier Jamie Carragher as crap as they were I'm not taking shots at Liverpool all right? allow me fam I'm a Man United fan it is what I do I take shots during the career mode this is a big one Juventus this is gonna literally test us and see how good we are as you can see Lucas Levers come into the squad because of his great game that he had in the last game also we put Stoic on the right wing position and took out Mane to give him a break and brought in Danny Ings up top because I believe he can do well here at the club also Origi starts on the left wing position Clavan comes in alongside Matthew and also you boy Alexander is playing right back. Don't forget, Aubameyang's on the bench now. He's coming on in this game. You're going to see a little bit of Aubameyang, mate. Just a little teaser, though, just to get you a little bit excited, and all of a sudden, he's banging them in. Go on, Origi. Back into Lalana. Good football. 
Keep it. Come on, Danny Ings. We've kept the ball. Bang! Lucas Levi should have played that, that through. I don't know why I hit it. Milner. Good play. Good play. Lalana looks forward. Here we go. Fit. Stick your leg out on it, man. He's just letting the ball run past him. Come on, Coutinho. Aubameyang. First touch in a Liverpool shirt. Sturridge. Into the middle. We've got players all around us. Hit it. Hit it. Come on, Emre Chan. Straight off the bench. The guy's done it. Emre Chan. Aubameyang had a little part to play in that as well. I'm looking for a man in the middle. I'm looking for a Aubameyang. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Emre Chan, though, coming up with the goal. Very well done for the centre mid. Keep running with it, son. Keep running with it. There you go. There you go. I see a ball out to the left-hand side. There you go. Come on. Divock Origi. Divock. Ah. What's going on there, then? A little bit of a scuffle in the middle of the box. It's played out wide. Into the middle. Away by Klein. Boot it out, Clavan. Woo! Can we get goal number two, please? Emre Chan. Oh, what a ball. What a ball from Em. Ref, man. You can't allow that kind of thing to happen. Where are we going with the free kick then? I'm going to play it short. There you go. Emre lays one off. Hit it, son. Alexander Arnold. I wanted you to smack that one. It's full time. We've won the game anyway. 1 0. No, three points. We're progressing to the next stage of the preseason. That's all we needed. Come on. Unacceptable for Rabio. 31.5 million. However, the contract for Grimaldo has been accepted. However, before we accept this deal, I do want to give you guys a choice because this guy came up and a lot of thumbs up was on the comments. Gaia, all right? A lot of people have been asking about Gaia. He's a Spanish player. He looks like the kind of player that Liverpool would literally go after when it comes to a left back. So why not give him a chance? You guys are going to let me know. Jose Gaia or Alejandro Grimaldo. We'll put an offer in there. I'm not sure how much he's worth. We're going to go with literally the same offer that we've given for um, Grimaldo, which is Marino and 8 million, I believe. We're going with that and see what happens. It came up in the last episode. You guys said yes to getting rid of Henderson. A couple of people said they wanted to keep him, but the majority said yes, get rid of him. We're going to try him on Rabio, and we'll try and sweeten the deal with an extra 5 million and see if we can take him home. That kind of changes things, though. 20 million for Kovacic. I will take that. He's worth, what, 19.5? We're paying 500k more than his value. That is cheap, yo. Cheap as chips. We're going to give him his 120k in wages. We're going to give him a five-year contract. He's going to be crucial to the club. I want to sell Henderson for cash now. As simple as that. Any team, come in for Hendo. He's available. And they want 38 million for Mohamed Salah. Well, it's realistic. I'll give him that. Yeah, you're being realistic about that. But I'm going to come back with 25 22.5 million pounds. Let's see what happens. Napoli, man, you've got to accept the 24 million, eh? 39.5 million. That's a lot of money. I'm going to go in. 26 million. Add a couple of mil. See what happens with that then. Ooh, Lovren. Now, a lot of people said get rid of Lovren as part of a deal for Kulabali, Manalas, etc. However, I feel like we can make more if we got rid of him for cash and brought in players for cash. West Ham are up from offering 17.5. You know what? If you come back with 25 million pounds, we will sell Lovren for cash and then bring in a centre back for cash. As simple as that. The player recently moved there. That's why I checked. It said he didn't. And he has recently moved. For God's sake, I want to bring him in in January then. We need someone who's going to obviously progress as time gets goes on. Also, Leverkusen, the sum is too low for Jonathan Tarr. We'll put a new offer in for him. £12 million. Pounds. Let's go up to £16 million. Pounds. I'm not sure how much he's worth, so I'll just go with anything. £46.5 million. Pounds. To be honest, I'd rather take Colabali or Virgil van Dijk. I'm telling you that much. £38 million pounds for van Dijk. We'll up it a little bit. Let's go £27 million pounds for van Dijk. And there it is. Accepted contract from Pulisic. We can bring him to the club. He's going to be back up for Mane in my eyes. And then we're going to have Salah playing in the left wing position. Aubameyang through the middle. Coutinho in camp. We're going to have Emre Chan and our new centre mid in the middle of the park. It's looking good at the moment. Or Lallana. Obviously, we could still have Lallana there as well. I'm not going to accept the offer at the moment, though. We're going to keep it there because we need the money to make offers. With Aubameyang coming in and Roberto Firmino still there. It feels like Storage isn't doing his job at the moment. I might just move him on in this transfer window. Let me know if you want to see that happen. We've got Bayern Munich. You can see the squad there. Pause it if you want to check it out. For every player, for every player. Joe Gilmes is starting, mate. Joe Gilmes. Don't know why I said it like that, but let's get into the game. Starkey boy. Where are you going? He's gone short. Abaria putting on the pressure. He knows how to play against Bayern Munich. He's used to them. 
Here we go, Firmino, Aubameyang, round him, Aubameyang, I told you, he's used to it, mate, he's bloody used to it, little flip, if we have the spider mask, I'd put it on, we need to buy a spider-man mask, I'm going out to buy a bloody spider-man mask, mate, just for Aubameyang, should we do it, let me know in the comment section down below, put hashtag spider mask, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, look at that for a sight, it's his first goal in a Liverpool shirt, here we go through the middle, Thomas Muller backed up, even further, oh, no, Really? We've kind of assisted that goal. What the hell was that, man? God's sake. Every time I can see this because of a stupid goal. Look at that. Thanks for the assist, Matip. Here goes Rafinha. Crosses it to the edge of the box. Don't know what he's doing, but we'll take that. And here we go. Mane with Aubameyang will be deadly. I'm showing it now. Look at them. The way they've teamed up. It's abuse, mate. It's bloody abuse. How has he stopped that? He's done a De Gea, mate. He's stuck doing the tip of his toe. Alaba. Into the middle. Lom. Philip Lom. Chased down by Lalana. Into the middle. It's Pierre Minica Pamiyang. Boom. That is the start. We want to see how Pamiyang get off to. Bang, bang, boogie. Come on, son. Mistakes were made. And our Pamiyang capitalised on that chance. Look at that, mate. Boom. That is what I'm talking about, man. Let's go, Aubameyang. Is he going to get a hat-trick on his full start debut? It's looking like it. Two goals for him in the league now. The pre-season league, obviously. Here's Marnie. Come on, Alexander-Arnold. Played forward. Aubameyang waiting through the middle. Where's that defence at? Where is that defence at? Aubameyang. Aubameyang. Off the post. He was so close to a hat-trick on his debut. I've smacked the post for God's sake, man. Kick it out of there. Get the boys out. As simple as that. We need the substitutes to happen. One of them is Lalana. Another one of them, by the way, is me sobbing off my goalkeeper. I'm still a little. I'm still a little bit like flabbergasted, if that's even a word. Spoil up for choice, but in a bad way between Carius and Minule. We could see a new goalkeeper here at Liverpool. Come on. I want a hat trick for Abami, young man. Come on. I wanted that hat trick so bad. He smacked the post, boys. The post! So close for him, but definitely man of the match in my opinion. Two goals, plus he played well as well. He's doing those runs off the ball, which make a huge difference to my type of play. Yep, yeah, man of the match. 9.3 on your first full debut, not bad at all. I'm not sure on his value, but they won 12.5 million on top of Marino. To be fair, that could be probably about right, so I'm going to go with 10 million and see if they'll accept it. We finally got an offer in for Daniel Sturridge and it's from Roma. We've been doing loads of business with Roma, trying to sell the likes of Manalas, but bring the likes of Manalas to the club. Salah, I also did want to look up your boy Nyan Golan as well as a centre mid. I'm not sure if what you guys would think of that, but I did want to sign him. I'm thinking we got 40 mil, yo. And they come back with 21 million for Lovren. Sorry, Dejan, you're gonna be leaving. Don't have a go at me about that, by the way. Look at the deals we're making. You can see Van Dyke, Manalas, or Kulabali join the club, or Jonathan Ty is still an option. Mohamed Salah, 38 million pounds. They're having a laugh, man. How much are they gonna ask for? Let's go 25 million pounds. He's worth 23. Accepted contract for Kovacic is also an option. We don't care about Rabiot, to be fair. I wanna take Kovacic over Rabiot. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do we take Kovacic, Rabiot, Brozovic, Keita, we need a centre mid. Gonna give 25 million and see what they say anyway. I wanted to bring out the best in Danny Ings. I wanted to see what he could do for us, Danny Ings. And then Wolfsburg come in with 12 million. You know what? I'm gonna say 20 million pounds. They'll probably come back with something less. Probably about 16, 17. If they do, do we let Danny Ings go? Let me know down below. I told you, we've literally just signed Color Bali for Lovren plus 5 million. You're telling me that's not a good deal. I told you this kind of thing can happen. If you sell Lovren for 21 million, 50 million I was about to say, and then bring Color Bali in for 26 million pounds. What a deal, by the way. 26 million pounds for Colabali, what a bloody deal! Let's get into some more transfers in the next episode where we'll be playing Juventus in the final of the Asian Elite Cup. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, smash out that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Shout out of the day goes out to Claire 
Ferreira or Ferrer. I'm not sure how you say your name. I'm sorry if I butchered it, but Claire, shout out to you. All right, appreciate that. Also, don't forget to hit me up on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. All links in the description down below at Bros Got Game. But for now, it has been me. You guys have been great, and I catch you in the next one. But before I go, special word of the day is editing. Can we get editing in the comment section down below for a shout out? All right, catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>